Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 44, the 90 day Entre Content Challenge. I had to do the math before I hit play or hit record. <laughs> it's getting confusing. Hope everyone's Wednesday is starting out well. If you're seeing this in the evening time, I hope you have time to see you know, that you had a good day. And yesterday I talked about choosing battles. Uh, today, and that was with regard to arguments, today I'm going to talk about choosing other battles. Uh, again, we're going to work a little bit on personal. That seems to be my forte. All of us, and I see so many new people uh, posting, hey, I'm new, hey, I've gotten through this course or this course. And so this is going to be primarily aimed at you guys. Um, going through the initial courses, uh, you're going to start noticing changes. You're going to start making changes, implementing changes with your physical self, with your, your personal relationships, and certainly with your business skills. Uh, choosing your battles as that relates. I haven't had to choose any battles really with, with the business side, but the personal side, yeah. And some of these battles need to be chosen. And let's face it, you know, all of us have something we want to work on, something that we really don't like about ourselves, whether it's our physical, you know, appearance, for instance, these 90 day challenge videos, you know, getting used to looking at your own face every day. Some of you might be better at that than others. It took me a while. You have mornings where you get up and you're exactly the same physically that you were the night before. But for whatever reason, uh, you're getting dressed, look in the mirror and you go, ugh, ugh, I'm not happy. Am I not exercising enough? Am I not doing this and I'm not doing that? And then you spend 15 minutes in your head chasing that little <laughs> and I, I did that this morning That's the reason I'm talking about it everyone has that morning where and for me I just didn't particularly sleep well last night I didn't sleep well the night before either having some problems with my leg hurting and pain keeps you awake so you wake up and you're going through your morning I do the things and then you know you just you put on your clothes and you're like Ugh. okay whatever I'm just going to work and you just, I have a little pocket that I put that in because otherwise I obsess over it and that's remnants of the eating disorder. Uh, unrealistic expectations, unrealistic ideals of what you should be physically. Um, and I can really only speak to the woman side of that. Um, so I realize in my intelligent brain or my semi-intelligent brain, that what we see is not always what's exactly there. Um, Learn this one the hard way too. So you have one of those mornings and, oh, I don't know, your hair doesn't do right. It, it just, for whatever reason, looks like crap and you, you're not satisfied and then you try to put it up and it doesn't do well. And Nothing you do looking in the mirror makes any sense and you are literally the same person that looked in that mirror yesterday and didn't have a problem. So step back and go, okie dokie. And I had to do that this morning, just kind of rolled my eyes and um, just kind of went like this in the mirror. <laughs> because you're gonna have days, whatever is in your head that needs to be sorted or cleared or resolved. That's a great word, resolved. Oftentimes we clear things, we don't necessarily resolve them throw them in the closet and hope they don't figure out how to open the door. So if it's not resolved, it's going to show up somewhere or the other, isn't it? And so I stepped back and went, okay, that's a skewed view. I'm going to go to work and I'm going to put on my success face and try to be the best me I can be. Um, just so you know, I, I pray on the way to work. That's the first thing I do when I get in the car. Uh, I'm alone. It's a dark 30 and it's quiet and I talk to God. That's what I do. By the time I get to work, I usually have in mind what I want to talk to you guys about. But this today I'm sharing because I don't ever want to come off as someone who has all the answers, even though life and experience has given me a lot to offer advice wise. Um, there's still battles that I fight. And I see, you know, I watch everyone. I watch all of you guys. I'm proud of you. 
some of you are so much better at the, at the personal or physical than I am. So I take cues and I'm always trying to learn from you. Just like I try to learn from some of you who are way better at the technical than me. Realizing though, that's like half the battle. They always say realizing you have a problem is you know, half the battle. Well, that's kind of it. I mean, I don't, I really don't stand there and think I have a problem as much as I just realize that that particular day, the image I'm seeing, you know, it, it, what I'm registering has more to do with what's up here than what's here. I've never been one of those people that could look in the mirror and go, oh, bonus, yeah, awesome. I don't do that, <laughs> never have. But at the same time, I mean, it's not a pathetic thing or anything, it's just, I never had a grandiose vision of myself. So when you have that morning, <laughs> you just kind of have that little talk and do the little thing, and this is what I did. And when it went about the rest of my chores, I, you know, I sat down this morning and paid bills and threw my lunch in the in the thing, and then I had to scrape my car, which, Lord God, I hate that. Um, and come on to work, and you just get on with the day and put it aside, you know, because you realize it's not real. So, uh, if you ever have that morning, if guy or girl, whatever, you just get up and you look yourself in the mirror and go, oh, geez, don't feel like the lone stranger, as my mom calls it. <laughs> because all of us are there at one point. Oh, maybe there's one or two of you that never feel that way. But for the most part, most of us have that day and you just you just beat it down and press forward because what else what else are you going to do? Right? Got to make Wednesday rock. So that's it for me and there'll probably be more to come. I'm I'm working on a couple of things dealing with uh, self-image that I will be bringing but that's it for today. I hope you guys knock out your hump day. Have a good one. Entre family, I love you. If you're new to my YouTube channel, check out this 90-day content challenge and see if you might want in. There's links below. See you next time.